one of the um, important aspects of the Tuskegee syphilis experiment was the role it played in transforming regulations in the United States regarding uh, research on human subjects. It was a study that um, a lot of us, a lot of people believed was morally reprehensible. It came to light and thus um, some changes, in my view, um, important uh, progressive changes were made. Now the study itself uh, has a, a long history. It began uh, by the Public Health Service, a U.S. government agency in the early 30s and was ended, believe it or not, not until uh, the early 1970s. And the study was actually quite simple. It was a, a study of the natural progression of syphilis, a venereal disease that um, if left untreated has some um, uh, really nasty consequences. It can kill you, kill you painfully. And in, these, uh, in this study, there were uh, subjects who were followed but not given treatment that was known to be effective. This happened over decades time. Not only that, um, not surprisingly, these subjects never gave their informed consent to participate in this study. They didn't know what was really going on. And um, the participants were all African Americans from a poor socioeconomic group um, from Alabama. Uh, Tuskegee was the county seat um, where the study took place, thus the name.